All right, we turn now to the weather, and a lot of us are talking about the winds here. Yeah. Because people are concerned sure. about, you know, that big smoke and all those chemicals and, and the wind and where it could go. Right, and I think another thing to add in is what is vinyl chloride? What's it used for? It's used in manufacturing all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, car upholstery, for example, that sweet smell, you're smelling vinyl chloride when you buy a new car and you mm. get in there. So that's why they tell you to open the windows and ventilate the car and get those fumes out of there. Uh, the other thing that it's used for is polyvinyl chloride, mm -hmm. PVC. So this is a basic foundational building block of PVC, which you have all over your house. So it is all around us, but when it's on fire, that's a totally different story. And so let's talk about this. I'm going to set up our story, too, because I want to keep it focused on our local forecast as we go over the next couple of hours. We don't have a lot of wind to talk about. We have a lot of cloud cover to talk about. The clouds that we have now will stay with us. We may get a few breaks here and there. Temperatures are going to be going up overnight tonight. That is a big key into how this whole thing is set up. We have colder air in place than where we had yesterday. 24 hours ago, we were anywhere from 12 to 15 degrees warmer than where we are right now, or excuse me, colder than where we are right now. Now we are warmer. So you have a rapid warm up. You have temperatures that will continue to warm tonight from the low 30s, which is where we are right now. And then you throw in this whole air mass change. And so that is actually going to help that system, uh, that situation that is in East Palestine. The very cold air is out to the east. I would be much more concerned if we had cold air moving in because cold air is dense and heavy and it will sink. We have warm air that's moving in, so that will help to lift and uh, kind of alleviate any of that sinking problems. But you can see it's 60 right now in St. Louis, 58 in Des Moines. We have this warm air that is headed our direction. And as that next storm system moves in, that next change in the air mass moves in, that will help as well to kind of disperse all of this uh, vinyl chloride that's uh, been kind of put into the atmosphere with that smoke. High thin clouds coming at us with that harbinger of change, and we will start to see that change really taking place. But as Laura mentioned, the wind is really the star of the show tonight. I can tell you that the emergency manage, managers, the governor's office, the uh, sheriff's office, Department of Homeland Security, EPA, all have been in contact with the National Weather Service office in Pittsburgh. I've talked with the Weather Service. They have been in very close contact coordinating all of this, and this is really the lesser of two evils that they're dealing with. They know that they have this stagnant air in place, and you can see there is hardly a whisper of a wind at all in eastern portions of Ohio. And so we saw that column of smoke going up, and then you kind of saw it flatten out and that smoke really hasn't been moving anywhere and I know you can barely see it here but keep in mind we are looking at a pretty significant area on the map and there is the smoke plume that is still showing up we zoom in and you can see how this thing has been reacting uh, this is East Palestine right here and that smoke right now is moving to the east but look what's happening here at the very end it's starting to move back to the northwest. That is a key because our winds are changing as this air mass change takes place. So let's take a look at this hour by hour forecast from National Design Mart. Notice here the winds coming out of the south at 12 at midnight. So we have winds that will be picking up out of the south. That means that's going to help to disperse all of that cloud and all of that smoke. That is some great news. And those southerly winds just so happen to be ahead of a cold front that will not only bring us the warmer temperatures by morning, also bringing us a few scattered showers and we'll have temperatures tomorrow that are on the mild side for Tuesday before we take a bit of a step back for your Wednesday. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast. 51 with those showers tomorrow, with those breezy conditions. We will be cooler on Wednesday with mostly cloudy skies, but we get to see some sun peaks. Right back into the upper 50s, even near 60 with rain chances in your Thursday forecast. And then just a reminder, it's still February because by Saturday we have some snow in the area with temperatures only topping out in the low 30s. It is uh, Northeast Ohio after all.